right, warriors, welcome back. Before we get started, let's do a breathing exercise. It's going to take five seconds. We're going to talk about some tactics, some nasty-ass tactics that narcissists use in order to set you up, in order to trap you, and how they utilize and weaponize children in order, and, and, and get them to join forces in the grand manipulation of things. Five seconds, though, is going to get us so that we open our minds and not be triggered and or be able to observe a setup and avoid being trapped because we heard it first here. And in the remarks, as you read along, because you know that they have been, they've been culled. In other words, they are rich with experience and shortcuts shared by fellow warriors. Warriors, check this out. If you're on your grind and you're totally focused, single and happy, concentrating on healing yourself, Stop what the fuck you're doing, look at me. Narcissists are so vain that they will spin this as if you're building up a kingdom awaiting their return. And this is why you're working so hard and single. Yeah, that polished turd has convinced itself that it can return, that it has options. Five seconds, warriors. Let's take a badass walk on the beach and talk about how the narcissist bubble gets bursted when you're nowhere to be found. Y'all ready for this? Come on. Release slowly. All right. Shake it off, shake it off. So check this out. Narcs will interview their own children and they will rehearse, like actors, what it is they need to say. It's scripted. And I'll tell you, what, what end up happening is many of the children will sometimes come on to the other parent and make them believe that they are being abused. Whether it be emotional or physical, or whatever, the lie is a lie is a lie. Understand, this is a manipulation because we're led to believe that children cannot tell a lie. And you're gonna be more compelled and emotional to react. What you're not understanding is, is that the narcissistic parent that has control over the child, has manipulated the child, into breadcrumbing you into believing this so that you call Child Protective Services or law enforcement or whatever authorities to go do a welfare check, to file a report. The setup is this. When they go, when the authorities go to file a report of concern and go and visit to do an interview or investigate, the very child in front of the parent denies it all. And now you're led to believe, you're made to believe it, it, to look like you're the crazy one, like you're instigating and stalking. You're making trouble. I'm painting the picture. And the reason I'm sharing this with you is because it's happened to me, but I didn't fall for it. Let me tell you why. Because when this setup was applied to me, they forgot to hang the phone up. And I got to listen to the entire conversation and the laughter and the celebration. And it ended with, he believes it. He really believes it. He's all worked up. Man, I can't believe he fell for it. And then I hung up. So warriors, be prepared because narcissists are so sadistic that they make it fun for the children to hurt you, to become emotional abusers in training. It's a mentorship. Now check this out.
Narcissists also, when they, many of y'all wonder, how can narcissists even stand each other? Some of them, what you need to gather is this much. They're, they're both on the same hustle. And they know independently they can't survive. They may not like each other, but the hustle's real. And when you're under financial duress, you'll do anything. Desperatious. This is what I mean. You have narcissistic couples that will break off and go and solicit the attention of an ex. And this is their agreement with each other. See, they will never leave each other. But in those times that are hard, well, let's just say they need a co-signer for a car. Let's just say they have a business idea and, and they need it to kick off and you have the resources. Well, they're going to come over. They're going to breadcrumb you. They're going to future fake you. And they're going to make you believe that you're... You should be secure and trust them that this is a future that y'all are going to build together. Little do you know that all they need is your clout and your credit. They need your fucking signature to float alone. Then they discard you and go back to the loser, to the dumpster diver, and give all of the gifts and the blessings that you shared to another. You see how this works? Hmm. Hey, honey, I know we're broke and we ain't got jobs. I'll be back. I got an ex. Man, she's got money. I'll be right back. I'll get her to co-sign. Oh, she's an easy, easy lick. Now you're paying attention, aren't you? Now, understand too, Narcissists can't argue the facts. The, listen to me. Narcissists can't argue facts. When you are, when you're faced with facts and truth, most intelligence will accept that. And go, oh wow! In fact. Most intelligent people are excited to learn something new. No matter how it was served up. But the personality of the narcissist is this. Because they can't have a conversation with substance, they're going to guilt, they're going to shame and insult. Because the truth is destroying their delusion of, uh, of being the know-it-all. All-knowing, all-inspiring, all-virtue. And your truth with facts or statistics is going to totally annihilate that dream, that world, that bubble. And look, don't fall for the other trap on the finances where you end up in a castle. Oh, the door swings both ways. The narcissist will leave the door unlocked. But to have you locked in because you don't want to give up your Gucci, your Balenciaga, your Nikes, your Air Jordans. And in turn, you sacrifice your life. For what? Vanity. Warriors, narcissists don't mind you being around in the same house even. They just want you around miserably. You ain't nobody's bitch, warriors. And don't fall for the traps. It's crazy making, I know. But what I want you to understand is narcissists know full well what they're doing. What they're not used to is receiving consequence. And so when they get caught, it's going to be a rage, unlike no weather, because they can't run. they got to face it. 
I need you to be out of the way. And I need you to also understand that narcissists develop this lifestyle at a very young age. Listen to me, Linda. Linda, Linda. Li hun honey, honey. Precious. Honey, honey, listen, listen. At a very young age. And so the minute you start to see the signs of lying, cheating, stealing, and manipulation, even out of the young people, you need to treat them with the same courtesy you do adult narcissists. You don't put up with shit from nobody. The earlier a narcissist receives consequence, maybe there's a fucking shot at straightening their asses out before they turn 15. But after that, they're done for. At that point, they can't change. They've adopted a lifestyle. And it's not a new lifestyle. It's one that they've been living under the mentorship of a master manipulator. Because guess what? The narcissist can't stand the thought of dying alone. So they condition their children to worship them or get the fuck out. Son husbands and daughters that are pimped out for personal gain. Oh, whom can that be? None other than a narcissist. Some of you understand fully what the hell I'm talking about because you grew up in the insane asylum and you chose not to adopt that kind of a life. You chose to fucking overcorrect and you ended up sleeping with the enemy. And in your stubbornness to not be a statistic, you endured a lot more bullshit than you should have. And you finally got that holy bitch slap from Father that woke your ass up when you heard the words leave now and soon after you found out your nickname should have been just in time can I get a what what <laughs> it's never goodbye warriors it's always until next time les mando besos y abrazos Thank you so much for your support and for you prayer warriors. Keep God's people in your prayers that they see the truth and ruminate on the truth. Stop denying yourself. You have gifts unlike none other. And they're cloaked. They're being hidden. Because they're not to be shared with the ones that you're trying to cooperate with. Stop trying to save the devil's children. That's not your job. They made a choice. They baptized in the lake of fire. You keep toying with that and you're going to get burned or you're going to drown with them. You have lives to save and a life to live. You earned it. That's why you went through this boot camp. And the lesson you should have learned is yep, damn it. Guilty. Overcorrected. Balance is key. Indifference is a weapon of choice. Les mando besos y abrazos. Namaste. Jesse, what are you doing today? We're going to skydive today. We're going to skydive. <laughs> leap of it. Hey, that's what this is. Doing it for the tribe, the that's... warrior tribe. Do you know how high we're going? Did 14, they tell you? 14,500 feet. Close. 14,500 feet, yep. And then we're going to be right. falling at? 
a high rate of speed. <laughs> very fast. We're going to be falling very fast. We're going to be falling gonna at be 100, 120 miles an hour. Sweet. Have you ever gone that fast before? No, I have not. Okay. Are you ready to go that fast? I'm ready. Okay. We're going to do it today. <laughs> you got my back. Yep. Oh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get your face, but you know, your TI will have your back. All right. All what right. made you want to skydive? What, what brought you here today? Facing fear. Yeah? Are you afraid of heights? Facing hides? fear. Head on. No. <laughs> no? <laughs> I'm afraid of not trying new hey, opportunities. There you go. I'm afraid of living in the woulda, shoulda, coulda, and I'm not going to do it. Lead and live by example. There you go. You heard it here first from Jesse. All right, you ready to go? Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Woo! Close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't want to waste what's left And on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow Turns the sun rays And on and on We'll go Through the wastelands Through the highways And on and on We'll go sword fight uh, so i guess we'll have to call it a draw there you go we'll have to do it again <laughs> all right when are you gonna get your license now i'm gonna work on it tomorrow <laughs> i'll well, be back Jesse, right. thank you for jumping with us this guy oh, do you have anything you'd like to mine. say what an honor badass crew i love it here the hospitality just phenomenal five stars if there were 10 i'd give it to you we'll take 10 that's fine <laughs> <laughs> my brother Oh, what a fun! Hey man, glad y'all came out. What an experience. Come and see us again. Thank you.